When maintenance planners need to forecast upcoming scheduled maintenance, they can go to the maintenance planning screen. The maintenance planning screen provides many different ways of searching for upcoming maintenance. A simple search to conduct is to go down and make sure the include due overdue checkbox is checked and then select horizon next to. We can then click on search and this presents any items that are currently due, overdue, and if they are not due or overdue, it shows every scheduled task that is upcoming and when its next due date is. Now, a different option to conduct a search is to go down and select horizon duration. Now, in the duration, we can select a profile and by using this horizon duration, we can say that within the next 30 days, we plan on flying 60 flight hours and having 70 landings against every item that tracks these particular intervals. So if we then go to the top and click on search, this once again shows everything that is due and overdue, but it narrows down our results by showing us things that would come up once they hit those markers that we designated in the horizon duration. A third option that we have is to sort by using the horizon date range. So by using this, I can go ahead and check the use DAU profile, which is the daily average usage. So here I can say my period is going to be one month again. Now by selecting the period and saying that my daily average usage is expected to be 2.4 flight hours per day, the system will calculate if an aircraft flies 2.4 hours a day for a period of one month, which scheduled tasks would come due. So now I can come up to the top, click on search, and now it runs the calculations and brings back the search results based on our criteria. The benefit of using either the horizon duration or horizon date range is that because we're giving it certain parameters, even based on flight hours, it can calculate a projected due date of when it will reach these particular milestones. These projections become very useful when planning for upcoming deployments or when budgeting for future maintenance costs. Once the maintenance planner is ready to issue out this inspection, they can come down to the bottom of the screen select the checkbox for the particular task that they want, and then click on Create Work Package. Once they name their work package, they can come down to the bottom, click on Save. At this point, they can check the box for the task, click Lock In, and the system generates a work order. We can see that this work order is in an unopened status. We can then check the box, scroll down, and click Open Work Order. From here, we can select the maintenance type, scheduled inspection, and then select the readiness date, unavailable scheduled maintenance, click on finish, and that task is ready to be worked on. Once we close the screen, we can go back to the maintenance planning screen, click on refresh. If we scroll down, we can see that our 14 day is no longer available to be selected and it has a work package and a work order against it. Now, when you create a work package, any task against a specific serial number can be added into that work package. You cannot combine tasks that belong to different aircraft under one work package. Now, as we've seen in other screens, any query that we create in maintenance planning can be saved for future use. So here we can name this query 2.4 flight hour projection, save it, and whenever the maintenance planner wants to load a projection for 2.4 flight hours, they can select it from their available queries. When dealing with items that have a shelf life, Gold DSP treats those items as any other task by using maintenance planning. So in this example, I have a part called test CAD. And if I set my parameters to include items that are due and overdue and the horizon next to, I can then click on search and we can see that our shelf life appears and this item is actually overdue by four days and these items still have 728 days remaining on their shelf life. One area where Gold does make a distinction with a shelf life item is in a screen called the item work. To get there we go to material and then click on item workbench. 
In an environment where Gold DSP is used to conduct maintenance and supply, items with a shelf life can also be found from the item inquiry screen. So here I will conduct a search for test CAD. And here we will see that while all these items are available, the one CAD that was overdue shows up with an E available, designating it as an expired CAD. Now this item in an instance where there's supply and maintenance working together will not allow this part to be reserved or issued.